Hi there viewers, I'm the Extraordinary Tourist, or sometimes I'm known as the Lazy Animator, or David Arundel. And this video is going to be a bit of a behind the scenes video on a new animated short I'm working on featuring my Mia and the Tourist characters. Uh, what I'm going to show you is a little bit of behind the scenes character creation for a new character that's going to appear in that animation. So I won't spend too much time I'm talking here and we'll get straight into uh, the actual creating of the character. Right, so this is a still from the animation that I'm working on and you can see here this is my character's Mia which is the girl just here and the tourist which is an avatar loosely based on myself and they have this replica sentient R2-D2 droid that travels with them wherever they go. And in this particular animation they're looking to hire a car but uh, I won't go into any more detail than that, all you need to know. And as part of this animation, there's going to be a new character, which is the car rental guy, which is this character here. And I haven't actually rigged this character up in Cartoon Animator, so that's the process uh, I'm going to go through today. Now, all of these characters are created in a mobile phone application called Opadol. If you're wondering how I'm running Opadol on a Windows computer, this is BlueStacks, an open source Android emulator for Windows, and I believe you can get it for possibly Mac and Linux as well. Uh, but it lets you run Android apps on your PC, so that's how I'm doing that. And this is the Opadol app, and I will we'll leave links in the description for this app if you want to try it out. But just be careful downloading it because uh, the latest version of this at the time of recording this when I downloaded it uh, wouldn't actually work on BlueStacks. All I got was a black screen and music so I had to chase down an older version of it in order to get it running. But I'll just quickly show you the app. Pretty straightforward. It's an avatar creator. You can see I've already created my character here ready to go. And if you're using this to create characters for Cartoon Animator, uh, one thing you want to sort of watch for is when you make a character is look for ones that have arms like this where you can see the full arm rather than like this where the arm is behind the back when you're making characters. But as you'll see, I'll edit this character and go into the editor. You see we can change his skin color, hair, eyes, eyebrows, mouth. Then when we get to the shirt, you can see you don't get a lot of choice on where the arms are. So if you can, uh, choose something that has an arm showing. Uh, so if I was to do this t-shirt, oh, that didn't work because he's got shirt on from this section. So take that off. See the t-shirt there, got arms behind the back. So you might have to take a screenshot of a version of the character where the arms are out. Uh, but generally, these ones with the jackets tend to have more options for things with the arms that are out. So to get rid of that shirt again. Anyway, that's what it is. You can, as you can see, select all these things. Put blushies on the face if you want to. Uh, add accessories and that kind of thing. And once you're done, you'll want to get out of the editor again. Okay. Go back to here. And then you'll want to take a snapshot of it, which you can do by selecting that button. Select the share thing if you want to save it to your desktop and whatever. I won't do that uh, because I've already actually saved this character. But that's how you save them out. And we're gonna have to, I'm going to have to do some preparation here so that I've got this character in an A pose. And I'll be using my one sprite method of rigging a character too. So Now that I've got this guy, I'm going to get out of here and we're going to go into Critter. Close that down. Got Critter open here, over there, and in the corner here, just so that you see what he looks like as I work. What I'm going to do is bring that into Critter. Zoom in a bit. Try and work as quickly as I can. So what I want to do first is get this arm here so it's away from his side.
that in place, I need to make it match on the other side. I'm hopefully going to do simply by selecting that area. And there we go. Flatten that image. And that's now our character ready to be brought into Cartoon Animator. I might just crop it down a bit, quite as much background on him. And I'll save that out. Save it as a PNG file, even though I haven't made it transparent. I'm going to leave it up to Cartoon Animator to do that. So now we're going to open up Cartoon Animator. Alright, so here we are in Cartoon Animator. And the very first thing that you need to do, rigging a character using my one sprite method, is to find a G3 dummy character. Go into my G3 humans. This character doesn't need anything like bone hands or whatever like that. So I'm just going to stick with front view dummy character like this. So to make it even easier, go with a different dummy character. There's, you see this one has actually got the limbs already done. It'll take me a bit of work to delete that. I'm going to go with one that doesn't have the limbs already done, so I'm going to replace that. This is a dummy character with just a single image in the hip joint, so we'll take that one into the character composer and you'll see here that if I open up the sprite thing you'll see there's a sprite for the hip joint, but if I go torso and the head and the arms, everything is empty. What I'm going to do is replace the hip joint, place the current sprite with my character. We'll make him sort of roughly the size. And obviously the next thing we want to do is get rid of the background on that. You can see the hip bones now being replaced with our sprite and we want to open up the masking tool that character and do the mask editor and see with one click we've just nicely made all that region transparent we didn't have to change any settings whatsoever to do that and the next thing we want to do move all those bones but before i do that i'm going to save the character so on the off chance you don't fall victim to the program crashing and here my other characters will be manage it and the next thing we want to do is start adjusting all the bones so, right so if you hold the e key while you're moving things hold down the e key on your keyboard you'll see i can move that bone around without affecting everything around it And I don't need to do this too accurately because this character isn't going to be doing a whole lot of moving in the animation. He's mostly going to be standing there and talking. Right, so we can, oh, before we do that, we'll show the wireframe. You can see that that's fairly wide. We want to sort of make that a bit more dense. There we go. We preview that. That's probably going to be good enough for my needs in terms of what he's going to do. I think I might want to put his arms separate so that I don't get this weird sort of stretching. I'll put preview and save what we've done so far. Now, so if I want to make add arms without doing too much extra work, what we have to do is select an arm. I think we can add stuff through the layer manager. So we've got the arm selected. You see it's open in the layer manager. 
this button and do add image and you'll see this box comes up that says keep parent transform and what that does is when I import this particular image it'll apply the same transform that I applied to this main image here so and we'll go get our full sprite image again and you'll see now that the hip layer and the right arm layer this right arm layer here is now theory the sprite for my right arm you can see here so what I need to do now is simply cut out everything from that image that is not the right arm so we go into the mask editor and this is remember this is for the right arm so the first thing we want to do is get make it transparent like the original image and we want to keep just this we don't want the rest of it I'm going to use the paintbrush tool nice and big don't want any blur around the edges and we're just going to paint all this out but we're going to keep a little bit of edge around the top of the right arm and you'll see why later in just a moment get rid of all this that's what i'm going to do chop that and then i'm going to go to the eraser and adjust the size of my brush so i get a nice circle end on here that fits nicely in the end of that it's a little too big I'm just going to click once, give me that nice circle there, and I'll just move this edge out here so it's more of a straight line. I think that'll do, so we'll get out of this. And you'll see now if I preview this and move that arm, I've now got this arm that I've just made. But you can also see I've still got my original arm, which I don't want. So now I have to go back into the hip sprite and do the mask tool. And this is now the hip sprite. As you can see, everything's there, including the arm. And I just need to erase the arm out of this mask. And you'll see now when I go back to my image and I preview this. You'll see now I've got a much better looking arm working here. Now I could do a little bit more in here to smooth that out. I go back into, I think this is the left arm, and into the layer manager, make sure that's selected, and do add image, keep the parent transform, and again, get the exact same image we just used. So open, see that's brought the left arm layer into here, and just go through the same process, selecting the left arm, and removing everything from this that is not part of the left arm. That'll do. And just check what that looks like. Now we've got two arms, but we've got to get rid of the arm from the hip again. So we just want to do exactly what we've done there. Check out how the wireframe's looking for everything. Right, so everything's looking good. Now I have a character with separated arms. Right, so the last thing I want to do is a morph based head. So what we're going to do to do that is go into create head, create morph based head, and we don't need to save the face file. Do we want to replace the current head? And then we're just going to get the exact same image we used for the body and go through the process of creating a head, obviously. Set up the mouth. You don't need to be too accurate with these when you first start. And because this is a symmetrical character, I'm going to click this button here so I can mirror everything. Alright, so 
That's the basic points. Now we'll do the more detailed point. Mirror on for the minute. the same shape as the original head because it still has some distortion because of the type of head it is. And the next thing we'll have to do, go to the hip and remove the current head. And again we're going to make a neck, circular neck area here. We preview this now, hopefully. There's no head behind there. Might have to adjust where that neck point is. Up, down, left, right, and some natural movement. Eyes closing and blinking. Up, down, left, right, and rolling. A, E, I. See, we've got a bit of work oh, on the face to do. You. Stop that, and we'll, we might have to do a bit of erasing off the bottom of that neck. Probably just about there. See what this looks like. Hopefully that's got it. And next, we're just going to put some eyes into his head. So we're going to go into morph eyes cartoon and I want to go comic because he's basically got these black eyes I'm going to put in and then I'm going to do a morph mouth I'm going to do a cartoon mouth as well we'll just do this basic mouth here there we go and then I'm going to do some adjustment on the eyes we don't want him to have makeup turn that off he doesn't need to have an eyelash eyeball iris going to Scale that up. Going to face fitting at a time. Up, down, left, right, and some natural movement. Eyes closing and blinking. Up, down, left, right, and rolling. A, E, I, O, U, and meow. Smile. Angry, sad, happy, surprised, and scared. Right, I'll just save that now. And obviously there's a few tweaks I could do to that, but I'll leave it there for now. That's pretty much my one sprite method of rigging a character. So there you go, that's a bit of behind the scenes of 
rigging a character for my upcoming animated short with Mia and the Tourist. I hope you found that interesting and got something out of seeing how I rig my characters using my one sprite method. Till, till the next video, uh, I shall see you later. Bye for now.